What's he doing here? This is the washing dishes area. Okay. Both of them are here. I can come out, but why would I want to do that? In any case though, they got lots of dishes to wash. Okay, we can't go this way, of course, which means we have to go out here. Mm. Oh, but there's a... We might not be able to come out of this one because there's a gate there. No, we can't. We can come out of this one, but this one is right in front of them. Is that really a good idea? What about that one here? Well, this one's not much better. This one... No, this one has a gate too, so I have to come out of here. And... I guess I'll run? Oh my god. They're gonna say. They're gonna say. Oh. Oh, this is not a good idea, staying here. We good? I think we're good. We gotta go over there. Oh, there's broken glass there. Don't freaking touch it. Where are we trying to go? The door doesn't open. Oh, someone coming here? Kind of? Mm, maybe we need to latch onto the knob of the door. I don't know. All I know is I don't want to stand over there because of the glass. But it seems like we have to. They're not here. Don't walk in the bubbles. That might make me slip. Uh... Alright. Oh my god. Why is it so loud? Why is it so loud? You wanna get up? Ah! <laughs> okay. Where's my escape route? So that lever moves a hook up there. How does that help me though? And I can't climb up here. Oh, I can! I can climb up here. Okay, well... Mm, yeah, if we try to go up here, we can't. So what are we trying to do here? I can push that? No? Should I just hide? I can hide here, maybe, but I think that guy will catch me again. So right now, that thing is just going back and forth. But we wanted to go to that way instead, so that we can climb onto it. And get carried over into the other room. But the problem is, after we push the lever, how do we actually get onto it? It's pretty damn high. It's really high. Well, maybe we can hide first. Oh my god, shouldn't have done it when the guy was right there. Did they see? No! Really? Oh! <laughs> We've done it. We've done it. We're okay for now. Okay. So now that we've gone the direction to change, it's right now, but the problem is, how do we get up there? We might not be able to do it from this room. Maybe we have to go back. Because I honestly don't see a way. We can't jump up here. Okay, and here? 
Nope, can't do much here either. Oh, oh my god, that cop. If we go back into this room... Oh, he's coming. Is he coming? Because I know he walks to that area over there, and I want to get over there right now, but I don't want to do it when he's walking over here, obviously. Yeah, there he is. Hmm. How do we get to the hook? That's the big problem here. The hook starts on pretty early. Maybe we can come back all the way here and... Can we drop through the hole again? That seems counterproductive though. See? You see the hook up there. I think we need to climb the freaking stack of dishes to get to the hook. Oh my god. Well, if people are right there, then we can't do it. But people, right, right now, they're not here. Can I do it right now? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god! Please. No. Oh, is that guy smart enough to reverse the lever? I hope not. Bye-bye! Bye, sucker! Whoa! Whoa! Uh, we gotta go! Oh! oh my god! No, 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 oh, no! Oh, can we keep going? Whoa! Please, please! Ooh! Bye bye Ooh! You're violent! Please tell me that's the end. Please. Please tell me we're done with them. I am done with- because I'm done with them. Oh my god. Lovely. Screeching, the first thing that happens when we get here. What's the hole here? Can we come back? Yeah, we can. And this leads to... A little scared cone guy. Hey, man. I lit you a fire. Don't be so scared. No geishas? Alright. Come on. I feel like the grabbing in this game, like the controls are... Well, let's just say that they could be a little bit simplified and I wouldn't complain. Because right now, jumping and grabbing are like two different motions. Okay. I gotta be careful not to walk off the... What the heck are we looking at in the back? Is that a person? A chain? We hear the ocean! So I feel like we must be close to getting off the ship. Getting off this wild, wild ride. Please. But what is that noise? Is it a seagull? Somehow, I'm not sure if it's that happy. Whoa. People... coming up. People coming into the ship. But why? <laughs> I thought we were supposed to take the chain down. No, maybe up. Maybe up. Up? We're out of the ship already! I don't want to go back in! Look at how big those people are though, and look at how big I am. How small I am. They're coming from another boat. Oh. 
I feel like my boat looks a little bit weird. There's a gaping hole there, a gigantic gaping hole. That boat looks a lot more normal. Hmm. Not really sure what kind of boat we're on. It's a little children killing and harvesting and eating boat. Oh. Old fat people. Okay. Do they come to the ship to eat little children? <laughs> I have no clue. Why are we walking back into the ship again? No. Oh. I thought we were trying to get out. I don't want to come back. What's going on? Oh my gosh. Oh. People wearing masks. Well, some of them aren't wearing masks, but they're all scary and fat and gigantic. That's the main point. Look. Oh! <gasps> The geisha! And it looks like they're going into some sort of like a Japanese or Chinese restaurant here. Oh! It looks like she's looking over here. What the heck? Oh my god. Okay. Suddenly... Like so far. All we've been seeing is the, the back end of the ship and stuff in there. They all looked really just shippy. But here, the front end, we're seeing some Japanese decorations. Is that a fish? On the table? Mmm. Mm. They're all waiting to be fed. Somehow, I don't think it's a really good idea for us to be walking out in the open like that. But I guess there's nothing else we can do. He's too busy to look at me. You're eating little kid meat, you know? Oh. Shit! Whoa! Okay. Don't make noise. Lesson of the story. I think we have to sprint this one. Go, go, go! Whoa! He wants to eat me! I think he wants to eat me! Everybody here, eating. Aww. Where am I going? There's nowhere to go. He can't come in here. There's a window. But how do we... I don't want to alert the people at this table here. Yeah, we can't really climb up here. I don't want to climb on the table, but it looks like we might have to. Hello? Oh my gosh! Please don't! Please don't! Everybody! Everybody's eating! Am I climbing up? Really? Uh, it looks like I can't get up here. For whatever reason. Okay. Sure. I'm not that keen on going up onto the table anyway. With all these people around. Oh 
Corn guy, corn guy. Oh. What is that? What is that picture there? Are they looking for me? That's a drawing of me. Uh oh. Well, I'm glad we're out of that mess. What? <gasps> hey, we can bring these guys. We can hold these guys. Oh. I wonder if I could have picked them all up. Hmm. Well, you you hang in there. Hang right on. Hmm. Can we do something here? Grab the sock. Get up on the pipes. Something. Something that doesn't involve me going back outside. That would be lovely. But I don't think that's a thing. Oh god. Okay. Looks like here it is. Table? Maybe? Hi, everybody! Um... Nice to meet you! Okay, let's run! Oh, oh, oh my god! That's a trap! Mouse trap! People! Wine! Sausages! Oh, here, here! Oh! There we go! We made it! Look at how lazy those guys are, though. As soon as I'm out of reach, they stop chasing after me. They kind of remind me of the... Um, the fat people in Wally, -E, the movie. Okay, can we do this? Can we do this? Can we do this? Oh my gosh! Oops. Sorry. I saw another cone guy coming out of here. Was there something here, or...? No, he was just here. I think. Yep, okay. Oh, when is this nightmare going to end? This nightmare is not little at all. In fact, the only thing that's little here is me. Everything else is supersized. We can't get out here. I think we might have to... Um, climb out here. Uh. Oh. Uh. Oh. Uh. Uh. Oh my gosh! I'm out for now. There's more though. As long as we don't get their attention, we should be okay. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. No, that's not not getting their attention. Oh my gosh. Okay. But this also means that he won't stop. He won't leave us alone anymore. So I'm not sure how I'm supposed to get out of this one. He won't leave that place. Um. I don't want to go back. No. We might have to restart here, I'm not too sure. Cause like otherwise, how am I getting out of this one? Oh god. Stand on his back maybe? Worth a try? Whoo! Come on, 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 come on! No! Are you kidding me? No! Yes! See you later! Oh, where are we now? Whoa! 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 No! Freaking heck. Freaking heck! I saw a geisha. Oh my god! Where's
We're safe for now. For now. Is that guy gonna take the elevator back? Hello, me. How are you doing? Pretty crummy, I assume. Okay. I don't think we have any business with the toilets here. No. I'm stuck here now. I can't get out. Mm. I got some toilet rolls. Do I want to like throw it at the... <laughs> at the doorknob? That helps. Hmm. We can't climb on the pipes. Nope. This pipe? Doesn't seem so. Can we really not get out? Because I can't seem to push the... Yeah, because it's completely shut. What can I do here? Oh, this toilet isn't... It's not covered. I don't want to fall in the toilet. Oh! Could we, like... Maybe... Break the mirror? Well, not with a- not with a roll of toilet paper. <laughs> no. How about... with this can here? Oh! Beautiful. Beautiful. Where are we? Where are we? I can't even see what's going on. My god. I guess we're not meant to? Wait. What are the implications of this, though? There is a room behind the mirror in the washroom. Is that like a peeping room? What is that? Ah. I don't want to think about it too hard. And I don't want this little kid thinking about it too hard either. Wonderful. Wonderful. So now we're back out here. We can break the geisha. We don't like these things around here. You've got to go, my lady. And we can probably just drop down. We don't want to go into the room next to us, but we'll do this. No one's angry at me for once. That's a platter to give to someone else. Mm, I don't really want to find out what's going on in here. Private rooms? Private rooms! Private scary rooms! Oh my gosh. Oh! My god. Keep going, kid! Keep going, kid! Yes! No! Yeah, no! Oh my god! I can't believe we made it on first try. Oh my god. You! Okay. Okay. We're okay. We're okay. They can't get to us. No, they can't. Oh. There's a hat here. Why? What is this painting? Something that looks like a teepee. On the waves. Oh, deja vu. No, not again! I was gonna commend you for not being hungry this whole time. You can't do this to me, kid. This is no time for eating. You've eaten too much tonight already! You ate like a freaking dead rat? Oh, maybe that's why your stomach hurts, actually. <laughs> 
don't think people are normally supposed to eat dead rats. Oh, they're offering it to me. Just eat that guy! Are you serious? But... I spent so much time lighting the lanterns for them! And trying to make them feel happier and stuff! Why would I do that? This kid is going crazy! The geisha! The geisha! No! Or... yes, maybe? I don't really know if I want to um, actually see her and stuff. Oh, is someone coming? Is someone gonna come? She's gone. What on earth is happening here? I just... I am in shock right now because I just killed something. Somebody who I thought was on my side. And I'm pretty sure they thought I was on their side too. Judging by how they were giving me that sausage. Where am I? Nope. The paintings on there, we can't really get a good look at them. Mannequins? Ooh. This... The mirror is broken. It seems like those are like kimonos on the mannequins. So again... To do with the geisha. Look, the the painting that we're looking right at. It's of the geisha, I think. You can hardly see it, but you can kind of see her head. Beautiful eye painting there. Is somebody humming? We need a key. She's humming. Lots of eye portraits? And there's one there with five people, but the only person visible is the geisha. There's a pig. I'm so scared right now. let her notice us, I don't think. My heart is beating. Like my in-game heart, I mean. <laughs> She's got magical powers that immediately get me. She doesn't have to chase after me. She just thinks it, and I'm done. Right, so as I thought, we can't actually let her notice us. But at the same time, how are we getting anything done then? 
There's a geisha doll on her desk too that I want to smash because I can. We can get up here. <laughs> Do I want to distract her maybe? Oh, I might be stuck back there. No, I'm here. Oh, I think there's a lantern outside. Oh, that's not a lantern. Well, we need some way to... distract her. If we walk slow enough, will that work? God. I'm holding my heart. Did you see that? Okay, lady. Where do you keep your keys? Why do you have a pot with an eye on it? Ugh. Everything about you makes me so uncomfortable. And that might be a really mean thing to say, but little kids don't lie. Some paintings that we can't really see, and that looks like the girl from The Grudge, seriously. Holy crap. Even the handle of the drawer is a freaking eye. Really? What's good? I mean, we're on her bed. Under her pillow, maybe? A key under her pillow? <laughs> no? I don't think she appreciates me. Oh! There might be a key in the pot. Oh, I really don't wanna... Oh, no! Hey, look at that, though. There used to be a painting here, but she took it down. You can see the marks. Oh, I bet it's in here. What do we do though, after we get it? Hide under the bed? Shit. Can we hide under- oh my freaking god. <laughs> you know, the fact that she's not coming over is actually scarier. Oh my god. <sighs> I think she got pissed at me. You know how when you make your mom mad? Well, she gets mad at you, right? But you know how sometimes when she gets mad at you? She doesn't say anything, and she just walks away. It's kind of how I feel like right now. And those times, I feel like that's infinitely scarier than when she actually voices her anger at you. By the way, I'm really, really scared. My entire body is heating up right now. I'm sweating. Oh my god. Broken mirrors. Whoa! Fuck. Fuck. We're running, we're running. I'm not looking at anything. She's right there, she is right there, she is right there! She is right there! Oh my god, 
I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. We're running. We're running. I can't do this. Oh my god. There's eyes everywhere. On the walls. Oh my god. And now what? Now what? Now what? A thing in the middle? <sighs> it's a mirror! Am I gonna break it? No? No? Is it a mirror? What is it? Hey, this might be... She doesn't like looking at herself, right? Because I did get the impression that... Yeah, with all the broken mirrors and stuff. Maybe this mirror is how I'll fight back. Well, in that case... He's right there. Hey, lady. Ah! Oh! I was a little bit too close to her, but I think I had the right idea. Mm-hmm. We can do this. We have to walk away from her a little bit. We can't just turn right back towards her. Because it seems to take a little bit of time before it kicks in. We gotta find the next spot of light. I can't help but feel like we've departed from the theme of being in the kitchen a lot now. Suddenly, we're like fighting Japanese geisha ladies with a mirror. Oh? She's smart! She wasn't coming in. Come on, three times should be the charm. Four. Five. The light's not disappearing. Six. But the mirror broke. Wait, what's happening to her? Oh, I'm hungry again. No. No way. What's happening?
I am pretty lost right now. I have no idea what's going on. We chomped on a... But somehow... I don't get the impression that we're afraid of anything anymore. We're humming what she was humming. Door with an eye. I think we get to leave now. the heck happened? Uh, we can recap? We woke up in a ship, in the back portion of a ship, where we go through the kitchen. We see a bunch of people who are like, well, if you can call them people, they are massively bigger than us, and not just in a child versus adult way. And they also have very strange properties, such as very long arms, I don't know. But these people were in the back of the ship, in the kitchen, serving, or a packaging up and serving the children to guests who board from another ship. Wait, not even all the children are being eaten, right? Because near the beginning, we came across a bedroom of some sort, and there were children sleeping on the beds. Huh. But anyway, the weird chefs and the, the blind guy, they all seem to be working for the geisha lady, who is the, I don't know, the restaurant owner of the ship. The ship that you can only access by coming in through another ship. Which makes sense because kidnapping children is pretty illegal, so their location is like in the middle of the ocean where they can't be found easily. Yeah. But beyond that, like what the heck did any of that mean? Oh, and there were also those like little cone guys the whole time too. They... They were kind of like rats. They were just scurrying around, scared. But I'm not quite sure how they fit into the picture either, because I don't feel like they were being eaten. Oh, eaten! Speaking of being eaten! We were hungry! And then, oh, oh my god, I don't even want to think about it, but we went from eating normal food, the scrap that the kid at the cafeteria gave to me, and then like, we had dead rats, which is not the most sanitary, but if you're hungry, I guess. And then for whatever reason, we decide to become completely cannibalistic. I guess it's not cannibalism if we're eating the cone guys, but... Oh my god, we had a sausage and the cone guy, but we chose the cone guy! Why?! And we even ate the geisha lady in the end! Oh my god! This is all too much of a mystery! <laughs> oh! 
I did see in the Steam store description that the, the little girl's name is Six. So maybe there's a lot of context that I haven't looked up before I started playing. Oh, hang on, Six? So that's why it took six times for the mirror to kill the geisha lady, huh? But somewhere along the line in this whole journey, we went from being the one that's afraid of being eaten. We went from being the prey to being the hunter, the one that's doing the eating. Which, I don't know what brought about that change, but well, I guess we should be glad that we're not... <laughs> That we didn't get in and that we get to escape. Although now I fear for anybody who comes across us. Oh. There were some concerns about how this might be an inside clone, but no, not at all. And I think it holds up pretty strongly on its own. The art style, like all the all the furniture and stuff, they were all oversized in comparison to me. And I don't know, just the general feeling, the atmosphere is really good too. The art style. I feel like they're all different enough from inside, for me. Mm -hmm. It feels like suddenly, within the past year or so, there's a lot of competition in this atmospheric side-scroller genre. Which, uh, well, it's fine as long as everyone can do it well enough. Mm -hmm. Um, it's a short game, so I don't really have too much else to say. Oh, I know this game has DLC, but unfortunately, I don't think it's likely that I'll play it. Story DLC, not just costumes or whatever. I'm actually... <laughs> the copy that I'm playing on right now, it's on the PS4 from my local library. The copy of the game, not the PS4. And they only have the base game there, so uh, that's that. It's definitely a little bit of a pricey title for the amount of playtime you get out of it. Three-ish hours and then 25 Canadian bucks? What is it in US, 20? Yeah, if we look at it as a playtime versus dollars spent, it's not the lowest ratio. Definitely enjoyed it though. Like during that last section with the geisha, holy my god, I was sweating. Like my entire face was red and I, I could hardly speak anymore. Definitely one of the scarier things I've played in recent memory. Is there anything post credits? Let's see. Well, that's that. <laughs> Not much else here, and I don't have much else to add. If you'd like, feel free to share with me what you think was happening in Little Nightmares the whole time. That's it then, and thank you so much for watching my playthrough of Little Nightmares. I hope you enjoyed watching as much as I enjoyed playing it, and I will see you all in another place, in another time.